Bloom's taxonomy is a framework for categorizing educational goals, created by Benjamin Bloom in 1956. It helps teachers and educators structure their lessons and assessments to encourage higher levels of thinking. The taxonomy has six levels, starting from the simplest to the most complex, remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating, and creating. Remembering is the first level. It's about recalling facts and basic concepts. For example, a student might be asked to list the main events of a story or recite a mathematical formula. This stage is all about memorization and retention. Understanding is the second level. Here, students explain ideas or concepts. They might summarize a chapter in their own words or explain how a scientific process works. This step moves beyond memorization to ensure the student grasps the meaning behind the facts. Applying is the third level. Students use information in new situations. For instance, they might use a math formula to solve a problem they haven't seen before or apply a scientific principle to a real-world situation. This level is about using knowledge in practical ways. Analyzing is the fourth level. Students break information into parts to understand it better. They might compare and contrast two theories or examine the motives of characters in a novel. Analyzing involves looking at how the parts of something relate to each other and to the whole. Evaluating is the fifth level. At this stage, students make judgments based on criteria and standards. They might critique a piece of writing or assess the validity of an argument. Evaluation requires critical thinking and the ability to justify decisions. Creating is the sixth and highest level. Here, students produce new or original work. They might write a story, design an experiment, or develop a new way to solve a problem. Creating is about combining elements in novel ways to generate something unique. Bloom's taxonomy encourages educators to move students beyond simple memorization to higher levels of thinking. By structuring lessons around these six levels, teachers can help students develop critical thinking skills and a deeper understanding of the material. This approach ensures that education isn't just about remembering facts, but about using knowledge in meaningful and creative ways. For example, in a history class, a teacher might start by having students memorize key dates and events, remembering. Next, they might ask students to explain the causes of these events, understanding. Then, students could apply this knowledge by discussing how these events might have unfolded differently under different circumstances, applying. They might then analyze different historical sources to understand various perspectives on the events, analyzing. Students could evaluate the impact of these events on current society, evaluating, and finally create a presentation or project that connects past events to modern issues, creating. Using Bloom's taxonomy helps create a more engaging and effective learning experience. It encourages students to think deeply and critically about what they are learning and to apply their knowledge in new and innovative ways. However, Bloom's taxonomy isn't without its criticisms. A main criticism of Bloom's taxonomy is that it shows a strict order of thinking skills, making it seem like you need to master simple skills before moving to more complex ones. Critics say this is too simple and doesn't reflect how people really learn. In reality, we might analyze and create things first in order to remember information. In other words, learning isn't as linear and structured as Bloom suggests.